Hi, welcome to Northern Thrifters. My name is Melinda, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I was tagged in one of those YouTube tag video things. <laughs> this one is about beauty addiction. I was actually tagged by Shining Star Soup, who did a video of these of her own. I will leave a link to that video down below in the description so you can go check out her beauty addiction tag. This um, tag train was started by another channel. I believe it's called Tracy Lee Beauty. If I'm incorrect, um, I will put the name uh, down below and I will leave a link to her channel as well down below in the description box so you can go check out her video. And also I will be tagging a couple other channels um, in the description box, so check that out. See if you're one of the tagged people. Um, I did notice that a lot of people that I wanted to tag had already been <laughs> tagged in other videos. So my list is a little bit smaller than most. But what I would like to do is everybody who's watching this, if you have your own YouTube channel, I'd like to just challenge you to do this tag as well. And maybe leave a note for me down in the comments that you've created a video for this tag and I'll head on over to your channel and check out your video. So this is a list of 14 questions that are related to um, kind of whether or not you're um, addicted to beauty products. So let's just um, start with question number one. So it says, how long have you been addicted to makeup? Um, I don't know if I'm really addicted to makeup. I'm probably now getting addicted to skincare more than makeup, but um, it's basically been... Um, just really before Christmas that I was getting into even buying any kind of beauty or makeup product. I had gone quite a while without using anything. <laughs> so I, I'm pretty new to this whole beauty addiction community. Um, the second question is, what is the makeup item you are most addicted to buying? Well, like I just said, skincare for sure is one thing. Another thing that I really like is eyeshadow palettes. Um, and another one would be lip gloss. I really like any type of <laughs> lip gloss. So those are my three things that I really like to buy when I'm out or if I do online shopping. So it says, how many of your favorite items do you have? So this one I did actually count before I started. I just counted lip gloss. My lip glosses right now, I have 14 of them, which I think that's kind of a lot for one person, so I'm not sure if I should really be buying any more of them. But like, they are all different colors and stuff, so that's probably okay, right? And it says, number four, do you buy makeup just to buy it? Um, no. I only buy items that I will actually use, or if I'm not, if I end up not liking it, that I think maybe one of my daughters might use, so kind of have a thought process before I buy anything. Um, a little bit different is if something's in a subscription box, like I do buy subscription boxes, but sometimes I don't like the items that are in there, so I'll save them for a giveaway or give them to my daughters, so that's a little bit different. Um, number five, do you look at an item and have the need or compulsion that you need just one more to complete your collection? Um, not really. Like, um... Yeah, if, I, if it's not something that I'm going to use, like say Wet n Wild makes a whole collection of lip glosses. Yes, I love lip gloss, but I'd only buy the ones that I think I would actually wear. So I don't really have a need to buy the whole set of something. But that being said, if um, certain skincare brands come out with a new product, I feel like I want to buy it. So... <laughs> I don't know, like maybe maybe that is sort of, it falls under this. Certain skincare stuff, I feel like if there's a new product in the line that I like, I want to get it. So I, <laughs> I have some compulsions, I guess. So it says, do you have more than 10 mascaras? How many are open? So I did count, I have nine mascaras, so I don't make it to that uh, beauty addict 10, <laughs> but I have nine and three of them right now are open, so kind of a lot are open, but I am trying to like not open the new ones that I got because I don't want to waste, you know, have them dry out and then they're, it's a waste, right? Number seven, do you ever throw makeup away? Yes. If it's something that is old, like an old mascara, I'll throw away. Or if it's something that I won't use or my daughters won't use that we've all tried and don't like, then I'll throw it away. But otherwise, no. Like there's me and three girls in this house, so everything gets used. So not a lot of stuff gets thrown away at this point. And what is your oldest makeup item? 
My oldest item, I looked through my bag and it is a little CoverGirl eyeshadow quad. It's um, actually from a few years ago when I kind of tried makeup <laughs> and I've kept it and I probably shouldn't. Like the colors I've learned now really aren't my colors, but I, I just haven't gotten rid of it yet. I probably should, but I'll see. Maybe my daughters will want to because I actually didn't use it very much because a few years ago when I tried makeup, like ugh, I gave up. <laughs> so it wasn't used very much. Uh, okay, what's next? Question nine. How often do you shop for makeup? Um, in store, um, maybe once every couple weeks, but I do do a lot of like browsing online. So I look at Sephora, um, Shoppers Drug Mart and London Drugs. And sometimes I'll look at the Look Fantastic website because they have a lot of different brands on there that aren't available elsewhere. So that's probably, um, every other day or at three to four times a week at least. Like I'm not purchasing, I'm just kind of looking at what's available or I'll fill my cart and just kind of leave it. So it's all, uh, quite often, I guess. That's probably often. <laughs> do you buy any, pro oh, number 10. Do you buy any products just for the packaging? Um, no, but I have kept products from subscription boxes just for the packaging. So I got a Tarte, um, lip paint that I really don't like the color and it's even too bright actually for my daughters but instead of throwing it away like the tart packaging is so cute I've just kept it in my kind of lip gloss thing because it's super cute packaging it seems kind of dumb to throw it out if I actually like looking at it so that one I've kept but that's the only one that kind of I've kept for the packaging I've never bought anything just for the packaging so 11, when a new item is released that you want, do you set an alarm? Um, no, <laughs> I don't set an alarm. It's not that important to me to get certain things. So like I can wait, it's not a big deal. Number 12, do you have the Ulta and Sephora apps on your phone? Uh, no, I don't, but I do, and Ulta I don't use because in Canada, I'm pretty sure the shipping kind of kills you. Like. Um, yeah, I don't think it's probably good value for Canadians, but Sephora I do have on my laptop. So I do search that, like I say, every other day at least. So, but I don't have the app on my phone. Um, 13, do you have so much makeup that you forget what you have and purchase items again? Um, so far, <laughs> that hasn't happened to me, but I could totally see that happening to me. Like that happens to me in other aspects, like especially with DVDs, like, we have a huge DVD collection in our house. Like I'm saying huge, like um, movies are kind of um, our thing in our house. And I have several times bought the same movie thinking that we didn't have it yet, that perhaps I had um, just watched it on Netflix or something. So that's happened a lot that I've had to return uh, DVDs. So that I could totally uh, see myself doing in terms of makeup eventually when I have a lot of it. So. Yeah, that could be me. <laughs> so number 14, does your makeup make you happy? Um, yes, and I think for me makeup, I want to say more beauty makes me happy. Like I'm really enjoying um, exploring skincare and hair care products as well. Like I never thought that would be something that would really interest me, but I absolutely love it. And makeup, it makes me happy, but at this point, I am still not confident enough to be wearing makeup outside of the house. I have never gone to work with makeup on, never. I've gone to like shopping maybe twice at this point. So in the last, you know, four to six months, maybe twice. I don't even know if the one, maybe it's even one time. So one or two times. Like, I am not confident enough. It just feels like I don't do it well enough to be out in the world, but I do try everything out at home and wear it at home. So I'm hoping eventually sort of I'll get rid of that anxiety that I have about it and uh, feel confident in myself to just kind of go out in the world how I want to look. So um, yeah, it does make me happy, but I feel like I can't totally express myself with it yet, if that makes sense. So that is all of the questions. Hopefully you guys got to know me a little bit better through these. I kind of feel that I'm not a total makeup addict yet. I think I might be a skincare <laughs> and hair care addict at this point. 
but not a makeup addict in particular. So um, like I said, if you have your own YouTube channel and you want to do this tag, please let me know down in the comments once you have created a video and I will come over and check it out. And while you're down in the comments, please uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.